Hello everyone, welcome you all in my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about AZ104 exam. This exam is Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate exam. The total time for this exam will be 120 minute. Total number of questions will be 40 to 60 questions. Passing score will be 700 and maximum marks will be 1000. Coming to the questions. Question number one is, you have Azure subscription that contain the following user in Azure Active Directory tenant name contoso.onmicrosoft.com User 1, User 2, User 3 and User 4 User 1 has a role of global administrator and scope is Azure Active Directory For User 2, role is global administrator and scope is Azure Active Directory User 3 has role a user administrator and scope is Azure Active Directory. User 4 has role owner and scope is Azure subscription. User 1 create a new Azure Active Directory tenant name external.contoso.onmicrosoft.com. You need to create a new user account in external.contoso.onmicrosoft.com. And the solution provided is you instruct user to to create user account. Does this solution meet the goal? And correct option would be yes, because only a global administrator can add user to this tenant. Coming to the next question, you have Azure subscription name subscription one that contain a resource group name RGO in RG1, you create internal load balancer name LB1 and public load balancer name LB2. You need to ensure that administrator name admin1 can manage LB1 and LB2. The solution must follow principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to admin1 for each task? These are the answer area to add a backend pool to LB1. What will we use for contributor on LB1, network contributor on LB1, network contributor on RG1, owner on LB1 and for second to add a help prompt to LB2, contributor on LB2, network contributor on LB2, network contributor on RG1 and owner on LB2. So the correct answer should be to add backend pool to LB1. Answer would be network contributor on LB1. And to add a help prop to LB2 would be network contributor on LB2. Because network contributor role let you manage the network but not the access. Coming to the next question. You have an Azure subscription that contain Azure Active Directory tenant name contoso.com and an Azure Kubernetes service cluster name AKS1. An administrator report that she is unable to grant access to AKS1 to the user in contoso.com. You need to ensure that access to AKS1 can be granted to the contoso.com user. What should you do first? Option A from contoso.com modify the organization relationship setting option b from contoso.com create or 2.0 authorization endpoint option c recreate aks1 option d from aks1 create a namespace and the correct option would be from contoso.com create an or 2.0 authorization endpoint Coming to the next question, you have Azure subscription name AZPT1 that contain resources as shown in the following table. For storage 1, it is Azure storage account, VNet1 is virtual network, VM1 Azure virtual machine, VM1 manage will be managed for VM1, VVOT1. Recovery sideways vault for the site recovery of VM1. 
you create a new subscription name kzp22 you need to identify which resource can be moved to azp22 which resources should you identify option e vm1 storage 1 vnet 1 and vm1 manage only option b vm1 and vm1 manage only option c vm1 storage 1 vnet 1 vm1 manage and r vault 1 option d r vault 1 only and the correct option would be option c vm1 storage 1 vnet 1 vm1 manage and r vault 1 because you can move a vm and its associated resources to a different subscription by using azure portal you can now move an azure recovery service asr vault to either a new resource group within the current subscription or to a new subscription coming to the next question you have azure active directory tenant that contain 5000 user account you create new user account name admin user1 you need to assign the user administrator administrative role to admin user1 what should you do from the user account properties option a from the license blade assign a new license option b from the directory role blade modify the directory role option c from the group blade invite the user account to a new group and correct option would be option b from directory role play modify the directory role and how we can assign a role to a user option one sign in to the azure portal with an account that's global admin or privilege role admin for the directory option two select azure active directory select user and then select a specific user from the list option third for the selected user select directory role select add role and then pick up the appropriate role from the directory role list such as conditional access administrator and option four press select to save 